Thorpe Park was the first amusement park I had the opportunity to visit while I was in the UK, and it is one of the UK's most prominent parks. It has lots of roller coasters, not much of a themed park as it is an amusement park, and it is also pretty unique because it is located on an island. So location alone is one of the most interesting parts about this place. So I'm going to get to talking about my full thoughts on this place because I'm sure all of the locals have their own opinions on it, and so as someone who has only been here once for one day, I'm going to talk about my experience, the things that I liked and the things that I did not like, and who knows, some of you might find surprising. The first thing I want to talk about is that arrival experience. We had to wait in a decently long queue to even get into the park because of security. This was probably the only park in Europe where we actually had to deal with this. I understand why, but we did have to wait in a pretty long line to get there. So I'm not sure if that's an operational issue or maybe there's a better way to go about dealing with it. But that was the first thing that I took note of. It was also our first sign that it was going to be a fairly busy day, which it was at Thorpe Park. But once you enter, you actually go through this building, this big old dome, and that's kind of your arrival experience which I was not aware of so I thought that was interesting it was nice that it was air conditioned and this isn't a coaster review so I'm not going to get into too much detail with some of the rides I've already done a swarm review as of when this video is being released I know the swarm is most people's favorite ride here at Thorpe Park and I'm just already going to go out ahead and say it. My favorite ride here was Darren Brown's Ghost Train. And if you watched my vlog from Thorpe Park, you already knew that, so that shouldn't really be a surprise. But I do want to talk about this ride because I know this can be a bit controversial with a lot of the locals here. Some people love it, some people hate it. I knew nothing about the ride, none of the surprises, which I will not be going into. For the sake of someone who's going there for the first time, you do not want to know anything about this ride before going in because it really will ruin your experience. Go in with as little information as possible. But I will say it blew me away. It was a lot better than I was expecting. All of the effects were working for me and it actually left me awestruck. I thought it was one of the best dark rides in the world. It was very well done. As for the roller coasters, they do have a solid lineup of attractions. You have your wing coaster, you have an invert, which by the way is not a bad ride. I don't know why everyone hates on this thing. Yeah, it's not as good as Nemesis, but come on. I thought it was a pretty good ride. I enjoyed it. The Saw was a pretty neat Eurofighter. One thing that I thought was cool about it is that it has that darker theme. Of course, it's themed to the Saw movies. And I think that darker theme is definitely a trend here within this park because that, the Swarm, Nemesis, Inferno, these are all darker themes. And I like that because that is something you don't really get in America. And can't forget Walking Dead the Ride, aka the family coaster that has a very scary theme. My only main thing about that ride that I thought really should have been better is I was really expecting scare actors in there and I was kind of disappointed when there weren't any. I really felt like there should have been scare actors in there to make it better. They also have several flat rides. And unfortunately, because it was crowded, I didn't do any of them. So unfortunately, I will not be able to discuss them in this video. Like I said, I only had one day here. And because it was busy, I really had to prioritize the rides that I got to do. If I ever go back there, which I'm sure one day in my life I will, I'll be sure to get on some of the rides I missed. But as I kind of mentioned in the beginning, this is an amusement park. It is one of the few amusement parks I visited in Europe. I visited a lot of parks, but most of them were theme parks. This is an amusement park. This was probably the closest park in Europe that I would compare to a park in America in terms of atmosphere. But that being said, there are many parks in America that I would take over Thorpe Park. It was not one of my favorites on the trip, but I didn't think it was bad either. I do think it gets a lot of unnecessary hate. Some of the downsides, there was not a lot of shade in Thorpe Park. Don't get me wrong, there were trees, but the main midways were very exposed. It was a hot day when we were there. But to counter that, Thorpe Park does have some water rides and a water park, which I will say is in a very odd location. I genuinely feel like Thorpe Park would be better if they just didn't have a water park or had the water park be separate from the main park and just in a different location. Obviously, I didn't go in the water park or do any of the water rides, really. And I'm fine with water rides being in a park, but I feel like when they're so tight on space, Thorpe Park almost would have benefited without the water park. I don't know, just my take on it. Now, I talked about how the pathways don't have a lot of shade and how it's not a theme park. There is... A themed area there that I did want to talk about and that is Angry Birds Land. What the heck Thor Park? What are you doing? Angry Birds? What? 
This is so stupid. Angry Birds was an app that came out back when the iPhone was like just beginning to become a thing. And it was a very popular app for a while. It did have a movie, which we won't talk about. But Thor Park has a themed land around Angry Birds, which is really, really dumb. I think they need to get rid of that theme as soon as possible because I don't know a single person that still has Angry Birds even on their phone anymore, much less still play it. So yeah, that was a bad move in my opinion. In terms of operations with some of the rides, Thor Park was definitely not the best. I actually did an operations video here. I definitely suggest go checking it out. You kind of hear me talk specifically about the operations at Thor Park. Some things they did that could have been better, certain things I noticed. So that's really all I'm going to touch on in operations. I really suggest go watching that video. But I do want to talk about food. Something interesting about Thor Park is they have a Burger King and a KFC in the park, which I thought was kind of cool. I actually ate at a buffet. There's a pizza buffet. If you're from America, think like CeCe's Pizza, but in Thorpe Park. So that was interesting. I just helped myself to a pizza buffet. But that's pretty much going to cover it for all my different thoughts about Thorpe Park. I always find it interesting when I hear people who come to my home park for the first time and listen to their initial thoughts on it and how it's different. And so with this one, when I was hanging out with a lot of locals, it was really cool to experience all these rides for the first time and then hear what the general consensus is of Thorpe Park. And this was one of the few parks I went to in Europe that a lot of the people I talked to are not a big fan of. And I don't think it's a bad park at all. Not even close. As I mentioned, there's certain things about it that I was not too crazy of, but I enjoyed my time here. So in general, even though I waited in pretty long lines that day, I only got to do most major attractions once, I had a fun time here. I probably wouldn't go back until they added another roller coaster. But I think if you're in the UK, hey, it's worth doing. They do have a nice range of roller coasters. My only gripe with it is I feel like they're missing that standout roller coaster. They have a good supporting lineup of roller coasters but i think they're missing that standout roller coaster but that's just my take on thorpe park in the uk let me know down in the comments below if you've been here if you agree with my thoughts if you disagree with my thoughts and of course if you're new to that channel make sure to hit that subscribe button i have a lot of park reviews on my channel and i still have many more to come so be sure to stay tuned for more thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time